The robots are everywhere. Here is a free AI tool, artificial intelligence tool called Crea. And you can click right here, try Crea for free, and you can sign up for it. You're gonna get an email that says, hey, you're on the wait list, and then you get an email that says you're in. And so in this video, I'm gonna walk through how this works. There's some really cool features inside of Crea, some unique stuff that I haven't seen before. And there's also a bit of a clunky interface a little bit. So I'm gonna walk through how that works as well. Uh, it should be fun, let's jump in. I'll put a link to this in the video description below. It's completely free. Uh, like most AI tools, there is a paid option, but I'm not talking about that or I don't care about that at all. This is all free in this video. So what I'm gonna do to jump in is this real-time generation here on the left. Create the perfect composition with real-time editing. I'm going to click Run. And you're gonna get this kind of weird interface to start. You've got this pink circle and a blue square. And it's really kind of cool because you can actually click on the blue square and you can change it and move it around. You'll see in real time over on the right, the pink circle and the blue square actually interacting. You can make it larger and smaller. Now that's great, but what if you don't want a pink frog and a blue mushroom? Well, that's fine. You can type anything you want down here at the bottom. So I'm going to type, for example, cat wearing a suit of armor and you can see it's changing in real time now it's not necessarily going to look that great because it's a clip art and it doesn't know what to do with the pink thing here right so the pink thing you can just click the delete key you can just remove it and now it starts to create an actual graphic now look the style isn't that great but you can change the style here so over on the right hand side i'm going to click photo real and that's going to update it now you know you'll notice this is a blue box and you may not want it to be blue. So over on the left, you can change the selection color. You can actually change it so it's right down to no color at all. That will just update here in a second. And now you get kind of a regular looking picture. And this is kind of cool because as you type, you can just change it in real time. And all of a sudden, boom. If you remove out the, the cat, it defaults to a woman, but you could type in a man with a beard. And all of a sudden, hello, Beardy shows up to the party. And just like that, in real time, you've got this. Now to download this image, it's pretty quick to do. It's over on the bottom right-hand side. Now there's another color prompt up on the top left, and it's sort of the master color prompt. So I've got this pink, huge square on the left-hand side that doesn't really seem to be affecting it on the right, but it is. So when I change the color, if I make this darker, for example, you can see the actual image gets quite a bit darker or quite a bit lighter. Oh, now he's wearing a suit. So you can see it just changes over time. It's actually really fun, and I think that's one of the things that sometimes we forget about AI tools is it should be fun. And so you can just, by simply changing the color even slightly, it completely changes the image. That's pretty neat. You can see it in real time. Whenever you're done your design, you can just click this Crea logo up in the top left and it'll take you right back to this page. Another thing you can do is over on the right hand side, there's AI patterns, create beautiful patterns with artificial intelligence in seconds. I'm gonna click run. And then it gives you this little window here on the right hand side that kind of is a little walkthrough, like a seven second walkthrough. I'm just gonna close that out. And you can just type in your prompt here. So I'm going to write in hot dogs flying through the clouds. I mean, something completely random, right? And then there's patterns here and you can pick patterns. I'm gonna pick preset number six, which is a weird spiral. And I'm going to click generate. And it took about 30 seconds to generate these two designs. The first one is this, you can see it's kind of this weird little wiener in there, it looks like an intestine. Anyway, that's the first one. And then the second one here is a pattern that looks like, I guess, you know, it's like a wiener that's like been like wrapped up, I guess, if you saw that in a shop window. I don't know that I'd buy it, but hey, it's kind of cool. So this is a neat little pattern thing. You can change the preset and you can just click generate and it'll just generate the same text, but in a completely different pattern. So again, this is fun. It does take about 30 seconds to generate. And if you love the idea of seeing ground up sausage, but in a checkerboard pattern, well, today's your lucky day. There's my hot dog pattern. Oh, we've got some mustard. We've got some uh, ketchup on there. Not too shabby. All right. There's a third feature inside of Korea that's kind of hidden. So I'm going to show you where that's sitting. Over on the top here, you've got home, studio, and apps. And over on the right, I'm going to click apps. And there's actually a third thing now that comes up. So there's the real-time generation that we saw. There's the AI patterns. There's this third one over here. It's called logo illustrations. Turn your logo into an amazing visual illusion. I'm going to click run. And you can pick logos over on the right hand side or you can upload your own logo as well. So I'm actually uploading my Zen water cooler logo. It's just a picture of a water cooler. I know it's pretty uh, 
Amazing. And so we're going to click that. We've got the logo and you can see here logo strength 100 or zero. I'm just gonna leave it at 50. And then I'm going to type in something here. I'm going to say cat superhero and I'll generate an illusion. Okay, and one of my favorite things about AI reviews is showing you how crappy some of this stuff is. So here is my first cat. He's wearing a Superman logo, so obviously this is trademarked, and I would never dress up my cat. The second one, I'm not sure what's going on here um, because this is like way too busty for a cat, and I'm not so sure that's even family friendly. So out of all of these, I would recommend the real-time generation app. I do think it's pretty cool, and you can just very quickly, you can make things look completely different in real time, which I think is a really nice feature. And then you can also add in photos, some textures, and some illustrations as well. And it seems to somehow interface into the image on the right. So it's like the combination of the left plus the text seems to somehow make the right image different. It's pretty cool. Down at the bottom, you can clear the canvas. There's a little trash can icon. I'm gonna click the clear button and you can see it clears the canvas completely. And then on the left, I can go back here to color and I can start monkeying around with different colors. There's also this random prompt down at the bottom, which is kind of cool. If you click the random prompt, it will sometimes give you really nice brainstorming ideas. So I get this question a lot. People say, I'm not very creative. What do I do with AI art? There's too many options. Well, just hit this random button and you can see some really cool things that'll pop up. And then you can just sort of just play around with the colors. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you is if you wanna get a shape, that second or third shape back in. So here we've got a steampunk end powered by gears and steam dreams. Pretty easy to do. On the left-hand side, there's a shapes button. I'm gonna click it. And there's a square, a circle, and a triangle. I'm actually gonna click the triangle. And then I'm gonna drag my triangle. And I can change the color of this triangle to something else. And you'll see it kind of looks in here. Now, if it's way different, it looks like it's going to make it completely different. But you can have a lot of fun here changing the way the images look based on the shapes. You can also duplicate the shape as well. And just like that, you can radically change the image. I like how it's doing it in real time as well. So that's a really nice looking design. And it's a clean background. So this is pretty neat. Anyway, check it out. It's called Kriya. And I'm going to put a link in the video description below. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I imagine AI is going to change over time. It's going to continue to get better and better. So it's kind of cool to be here at the beginning stages when we see some of the wheels fall off and we go, oh my God, that looks terrible. But some of the stuff looks really good. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your AI journey and have some fun doing it.